cooking with Debs and today I'm making fully loaded potato patties. So I'm starting off with some leftover mashed potato. I've got about three cups worth. Now you don't want to use it straight out of the fridge so if you've got it in the fridge just let it sit on the side for 30 minutes just to warm up a bit and then give it a good mash through. If you've got a rice though you can even put it through that or get your mashed potato out again or just go with the trusty fork. To that I'm going to add half a cup of flour, this is um, just some plain flour and I'll give that a stir. I'm adding three eggs. So put in three eggs, just give it a bit of mix. Next up you definitely want some cheese. This is about a cup and a half of cheese. We've got cheddar because that's literally all I had in the fridge. Um, but you could use whatever you want. Probably go for something strong. Add a bit of parmesan, a bit of mozzarella if you want to. It's coming together nicely. I've also got some chopped up chives. This is um, about a quarter of a cup or about half a packet of, it was a, like a 25 gram packet, so about 10-15 grams of chopped chives. I've got about a third of a cup of some ham. You could add in um, some cooked crumbled bacon, something like that. And I've got a bit of sweet corn that was left over, so I'm going to pop a bit of that in, probably not all of it. And give it a mix and see how it's feeling. Finally, you want to add some flavour. So I've got some garlic powder. Then I shake. I've got some mixed herbs. You could also add in a bit of mustard if you wanted to, give it a bit of a kick. Okay, I'm going to encourage you to get your hands in because what we're going to do with this is divide it up into about 12 patties. So I'm just going to divide it with a knife in the bowl so I've got an idea. Divide it into quarters and then each one of those into three. I've just got a plate to put my patties on. So just take it with your hands, shape it into a nice flat patty like that. It doesn't matter if you have 10, it doesn't matter if you have 15. Some of mine are a bit bigger than others, but as long as they're about the same th um, thickness, that will be fine. Once these have all um, been made into patties, you can put them in the fridge at this point if you don't want to cook them straight away. Um, if you need to layer them up, just put a layer of grease proof in between will probably help stopping them stick together. You can of course scale this recipe down if you want to. Um, I would say you need a cup of mashed potato. Um, three tablespoons of flour, one egg, and half a cup of cheese um, for, like, for every cup of potato that you have. Okay, we're just going to shallow fry the patties. Just make sure you've got a little bit of oil in the bottom. Pop them in, nice hot pan. Cook them a few minutes on each side so that they go lovely and golden brown. But you don't want to overcrowd the pan. You don't want too many in at once. And just make sure you just keep them moving and then they will be beautiful, golden brown and delicious. You can keep them warm on a low oven or just pop a tea towel over the top of the plate. Um, brilliant. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.